Let me let it go, Zay. We good. All right. Today on Knowing the Ropes, I'm up here with Mustafa Meekins. We're going to talk about the new gym. Actually, we're going to take it back to okay. when the Atlanta Complex closed. Oh, yeah, yeah, How, yeah, yeah. What was your thoughts on that? And, and did you I see it as a blessing? A blessing in the sky. At first, you know, I was kind of like, damn, what I'm going to do? I got a good little movement going on. We doing good. But, uh, like, literally an hour or two later, man, the landlord here texted me like, you good. You know what I'm saying? Me and him going back and forth like a week or two on a particular, you know what I'm saying, about me coming here. So it was like blessing the sky. And the owner gave me everything. He gave me the rain, the bags, everything. From the sports complex, gave me everything. So it was a real blessing. You know, talk about the process now of coming in uh, into your own with oh, this I particular it. gym. I love it. I, I can put my own energy into it. Scared a certain time. I, I wanted I want to make it a pro-style gym. You know what I'm saying? So it was good that... The company was real big. It was real big, popular, it was real good in the city. But now I can start something new and fresh, small, certain time of the day, private sessions, you know what I'm saying, from my pros. So it's real good. Real you good. know, speaking of other pros, will you be working with, with the kids also as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, the kids afternoon. But in the mornings, we my pros get it there. You know what I'm saying? Mac Truck, number one guy right now. So in the morning times, I can really pinpoint on the one-on-one one, one work. He actually has a pro debut coming up February. Oh, yeah, February 29th. What's the deciding factor to go pro? The deciding factor? Oh, he, uh, he, he did amateur everything he wanted to do. He, won, he, he went to all the nationals, you know what I'm saying? Went to the trials, did well. And uh, he actually got a pro style. So it's just better for him. And that's what make, make, make that step. Now, what was one of the hardest things that, that you have to overcome when building your own gym? Mm, finances, anything. My own name is finances. Cause I, when I came in, I already had a lot of clients. I had, I had my little name for myself already, so it was a little smooth more on that part. But just getting money together, look, we'll see if you see if you look at it, you know, you're getting together piece by piece, little by piece little. by piece. But I like that. I like that because small and it keep that gritty. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, you know, it ain't high price. It, it, it's, if you want to come work, come here. If you want to come get some you no know, high price looking bougie. It's other gyms. When you come get some top quality training and sparring, we're gonna get it in right here. You know, matchbox. You know, this speaking of that, you know, tough competition and getting the work in. Oh, yeah. You know, we had the recent loss of uh Kobe Bryant and the whole yeah, my guy. Whole mama mentality. Yes, sir. You know, speaking of past, present and future fighters, mm -hmm. who was the fighter of the past that had that mama mentality? Uh, fighter today and who you think in the oh, future? Oh, so many back in the days, man. You know you had Ali, Larry Holmes, you had uh Marvin Hagler for anybody, Tommy Hearns, Ray Leonard. All them guys was that type of, like, dog. They fight anybody anywhere. Major Taylor, they the best for the best. Pernell Whitaker, Roy. Like, they fought the best at that time right there. Yeah, good. Now, who would you say to, uh, among today's fighters that have that mama mentality? Uh, Wild. You know he got it. Big dog ain't playing. Um, let me see. Bud, Errol, them guys ready to fight anybody. I'm saying Canelo, he doing his thing. Lomachenko, he fighting anybody. Feel with that mentality, like they they going to get it. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, who you see among those amateurs? Because you had the chance to go to. Ah, uh, yeah, I like a lot of them boys, man. Matter of fact, a lot of them guys step into the pro ranks. Rasheem Jefferson out of Philly, I like him, I like him a lot. Um, look, Keyshawn, them guys, them guys pretty good. That boy from Jersey too, playing field. What's his name? Keshad Elliott, young guy, eighth, ninth. I like him. I like him a lot. Um, you no know, Troy, Troy's pretty good. Raheem. Do you know Hackett? You know, I, I haven't seen him fight in person. But I, what I have with him is he showed up. Yeah. Everything I have with him is, 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 is A1. Now, down in, uh, you was down in Louisiana yeah. for those. Who, who really stood out for you down there? Raheem, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. I don't know how he didn't give it to him, but to me, I was very impressed, man. Highly impressed. He, 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 he good. I can see him being yes from now. I will say this. Yes from now. He could be up there for Shakur them guys. That's gonna be the, yeah, I think so. Part of that next wave in class. Yeah, man, and that, that's that, that's where Matt going from. Like graduating class, everybody makes them move next level. And uh, Rasheem, he gonna he, yeah, he gonna be up there. I like him a lot. Now, what would you say your teaching style come from? Because I watch a lot of the videos. Uh, right? Eddie Futch, man, old school. Eddie Futch, Matthew Stewart, um, Jack Blackburn. I lost the old school guys, man. The science, breaking it down, you know what I'm saying? Counters, some different things. Old school, though. That's what I love. You know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, a couple of weeks ago at an amateur event, I had a chance to uh, speak to two-time WBC champion Keith Holmes. He was talking about the loss of the art of the fundamentals. Oh, man, it's gone. It's so gone. you believe that also as well? Yeah, you can see it every day. 
I said every day here already. See, Coach Train guy, the guy got everything incorrect. But he getting a workout so he feel good. You know what I'm saying? How can that change? The coaches. We have to bring it, you know what I'm saying? Slow it down, teach the fundamentals. It's all with us. It ain't, it ain't the fighters' fault. It ain't the media's fault. We have to explain what is real boxing. So how do you think that, that it got to that point uh, within that short Social period? Social media, TV. Yeah, everybody want the fast thing. You know what I'm saying? I, want, I want to be good now. I want to be flashy. And I want attention now. I really don't want to grind for it and take that slow, that, that slow process. I want it now. So I'm going to do whatever. I'll sell out for now. Yeah, that's what it, that's that's what did attention. Now, now I, I got to ask because you know Tank got a fight coming up in May. <laughs> you go, you gonna be on the undercut? Y'all gonna I, be? I hope so. I pray so. Yeah, yeah. I like Tank. Tank my dude, good dude. Yeah. Uh, who do you uh, see uh, the Michael fight next? I don't know, man. So many guys. I mean, he only two or no. So right now he's still developing. You see, you want to take a slow process. Yeah, take a slow process, but he's gonna be alright though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he gonna be alright for sure. Yeah, he's definitely a grinder. Yeah, yeah. And he got everything physically. He got everything. Just experience, learning. That's what boxing is. Like, sometimes boxing now, we rush fighters. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think a guy got to be number one guy at 21. Nah. Some guys going to take a slow road and still be there. What, what would you say is the number one uh, fundamental that is uh, hard for boxers to learn? Defense. That defense is hard. Not to get hit. Anybody can hit, get hit, but not to get hit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a really a lost art. What what you think is the reasoning behind that? Um, I think it's culture, man. Goes back to the culture. Yeah, I believe so. And amateur fighting styles. Sometimes people tell me like, you know, Mood, I ain't working the amateurs. You know what I'm saying? Because they want, they feel like guys should be on the front foot, just just going to get them. And I'm like, I, I'd rather lose in the amateur the right way than win the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my philosophy. You know, one of the things that you also talked about was hitting the road. Getting on the yeah, road to, more to. Uh, to get that work in yeah. in different areas. Atlanta's not real big on boxing. So the more you travel, you more see different styles. I meet different coaches, learn from them. I'm still, I'm still a learner. I'm still a student. I'm a student for life. So you're getting around, meeting people, and networking. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. It's important. What's the area you really want to get to to get that work in? Up there, Philly, Jersey, Baltimore, D.C. What, what, is, well, what is it about Philly? I hear that a lot. Philly, Philly. Oh, that First of all, they got old school teaching. Teachers, man, that's, that's 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 there, and they got quality fighters, a lot of quality fighters. A lot of champions come out of Philly. Plenty, plenty, yeah, yeah. Got to get there. All right, man. I really appreciate your time no today doubt, on All the Roast, man. man. See you get that work here. No doubt, you about to get in right now. All right. Well, for everybody, that, um, let them know where the facility is again. Ah, uh, we have four thousand Glenwood Road, Sweet Four. Right now, you might see a sign up there. It says, uh, what does it say? Glenwood. Glenwood Grocery, but we inside here. <laughs> now you haven't come up with a name yet, huh? You haven't come up with nah, a name. I got yet. a lot of names. Mac Truck, thing, Grindhouse, um, Slaughterhouse, Chamber of Truth. We got a bunch of different. We just trying to. I probably let one of them young boys pick it out. Oh, that's what you gonna do? Yeah. So when you think you gonna have a name by? I don't know, man. I see this guy here, man. I see what he say, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I appreciate your time, no, Coach. No, thank you, man. All right. Yes, sir. Go. Chess, I'm gonna be hard. Come on. That first one be the front, the second one to the body. When you roll, hit that one hard. Got you. See that? Again, okay. touch it. Uh huh. See that? Uh huh. First one, crack that one. Ash, touch, Ash, touch, bang, Ash, Ash, see that? Bang, Ash, touch, 
Bang. Touch. Touch. Yeah. Touch. Touch. Bang. Touch. Bang the first shot. Touch. 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 Bang the first shot. Touch. See that better than doing. Do a hard one. Come on, say. Do a hard. Touch. Hard. Touch. Hard. Touch. Hard. Touch. Hard. Touch. Hard. Touch. You die out. That's six straight power shots. No. Touch some of them, some of them you really sit on. That's why I see. That, that, that's, why I, that's why I do it. That's it. We do shot by a lot, but when I do mitts, it's trying to get them to work on something particular. Yeah. Time to go. How important is it for the muscle memory to go over that over and now, over? I ain't a real fan of power. I don't like it, but I see that it helps muscle memory. Good point, good yeah, point. It, it does. I need to feel like it's a bunch of garbage, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of it is garbage, but sometimes power rate helps you get a good flow and good, good rhythm, you know what I'm saying? It helps you to, like right now, sometimes Mac throw everything hard, you know what I'm saying? Everything boom, 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 instead of boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? With we'll placing your punches, the tempo. Some of them pull some off, some of them hard punches. So, yeah, very, very important. I see it helps. That's good. Mm -hmm. Go to the body, crack. That's it. Crack the body hard. See that? Okay. Crack this one. Touch, crack. Touch, crack. Touch, crack. Touch, crack. Touch, crack. Touch, crack. See that? Okay. Touch, touch. Okay. Touch, touch. Break them. Touch, touch. Break the body. Touch. Yeah. Touch. Touch. Yeah, break. Touch. Touch. Break. Touch. Touch. Come on, we're going heavyweight too. I reaction all the time. Is that going down? No, we ain't going down. No, we ain't going nowhere. Heavyweight. I got a phone full of film. Him sparring against the best in the country. He holds his own. Anybody. We ain't going down. Heavyweight. February 29th. How I feel, man. Feel good. Feel good. How's the training been going so far? It's going good. We're we, we going to get more serious in camp next week. But we've been building the gym, so we've been just building the gym, training, building the gym, training. So. What's one of the things you want to work on the most? My power. Power. My power and my speed. Because I be throwing, I be throwing so hard, I get winded. I'm like, damn, I'm in shape. I'm running five miles a day. But I still get winded because I be, huh, huh, every shot. So that's what we're working on. Place. That's what's up. Uh, do you know your venue that you're fighting on February 29th? Well, is it? Oh, I forgot to. Yeah. <laughs> coming soon, coming soon. Yeah. We caught him on leap year, though. On leap year 29th. Yeah, that's 29th. what's up, man. How excited are you? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. You know, you've been lifting. Probably they say lifting, been doing push ups, squats. Get my body right. So, with a little time, it's going to be a change here. Beginning. Beginning. If I do my job, go heavyweight right there. Not good. All time great. I'll do my job. I train him right here every day. You know what I'm saying? Rest on me. Develop him, prepare him, train him, get him ready. he be up there. The best of it. The best of all time. That's what I'm working for. Man, tell me your name and where can they follow you? I'm the car scout, but everybody call me Mac Truck. Mac you Truck. Can follow me at underscore underscore Mac Truck. That's M A C Truck underscore underscore. I'm right there. All right. Yeah. Look like he's starting to get a pack house. <laughs> One day, man, we want everybody to be here. This thing blow up. I got Mac. I got a few others too, man. I got a few others. I got a guy here from Mississippi. 125. Kedrick White. He here too, grinding hard. He'll be up there real soon. Inshallah. He grinding hard though. Got a lot, got a lot of hopes for that guy. Yeah. I see you got gifted the boom box over there. Oh yeah, John go John go hard too. I can't play my, my neighbors, man. They can't see the noise, man. Oh for real? <laughs> they, they leave at night though. We get yeah, we get busy. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Yeah. Soon, man, we be pack house with him, man. Yeah, a number killers. We grind the hard. That's what I want to do right here. Real grind hard. You know what I'm saying? Develop fighters. Yeah, I can definitely get the sweater. I'm, I'm sweating already. See, yeah, right? you see it, right? <laughs> yeah, right. This, this still was January. Maybe one of July, August. Whew. And, and, and the way see going on. I can't no imagine what it's going to be like it because Georgia is a whole different type of weather. Yeah, no sweat going on. Oh my God, it's probably get up until no like 120 up in here. Let's get busy. Yeah. Old it's probably even more. Hardcore, <laughs> thorough gym. That's what, that's what we're doing here. Nothing not, not hardcore work. Nothing fancy about it. Yeah. Grindhouse. Dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Those are grindhouses, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what you want it to be? I want to be grindhouse. <laughs> Grindhouse. Thinking about it. You do it. That's all good work. Grindhouse. What's it going to be? Nothing but grinding here. Nothing but, nothing but straight up pure hardcore grind. Simple as that. You ain't with that, the same place for you. All right. My dude.